From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 and your CR for stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0 breaking news. But of course, overnight, Vladimir Putin and Russian forces invaded Ukraine, which you're looking at right now. All the latest impact on this and your money, the four stimulus recon, the big checks that are coming your way and still coming your way. But we'll put this into context of breaking news, great news across the board about oil reserves, an opportunity to raise and lower the prices of gasoline at the pump. New indication that inflationary pressures may be eased with a new entry across the board. I have the latest details today on Afternoons LA. We're going to be going over the checks, automatic adult checks, that Joe Biden still wants to go out and it's not impacted by the events of Ukraine. I'll have a lot of details in this recording that'll look a lot different than yesterday's recording because there's a lot of moving parts across the board. In this recording, we'll be going over the CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0, and the breaking news about each of those today. We'll be going over the Build Back Better Act that is going to get passed and have millions of dollars of checks for the American people in there, upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000 of checks. We'll go over the breaking news that came in just minutes ago as the president says no price gate gouging at the pump from U.S. manufacturers, but... There's new indications that the president may release new barrels of gasoline oil reserves that could lower the price of gas at the pump. Then, a new potential deal with Iran that could lower price of gasoline as early as just a few weeks away. Then, we have new indications of what's going on with the CR for stimulus 1.0. Brand new details right minutes ago. And then, of course, the impact of all of this on your wallet because of the events of Vladimir Putin, Russia, and Ukraine. We'll go over all these incredible details and a personal message from me to you to start today's video. We have a lot to go over and a lot at issue, and it starts right here with a brand new breaking news report from Santa Monica, California, about all the big money at issue, whether it is the add-on of checks, whether it is the MSCs of checks, all those incredible monies right here as we follow and watch the situation unfolding from Ukraine, from the United States, all those details heating up right now on a special breaking news report of Afternoons L8, direct from Santa Monica, California. And it all starts right here, right now, as Afternoons L8 gets underway with the latest details you need to know about what's unfolding from Washington and from Ukraine. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're good. As you certainly know, overnight, Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. And you're looking right now at footage, stock footage, not live footage, of the beautiful country of Ukraine. I'm going to give you the latest update on this in just a second. But I want to do a focus of where this channel is heading in the next few days and potentially next weeks or months if this protracts that long i want to address it right on air with you starting right now this channel's commitment is a financial news channel and this is not a war channel so i will not be covering what invasion what occupation what military advances are happening by the minute by the hour my focus is on you and your wallet and that is what i'm focused on and so that's what you're going to see on this channel and the number three most watched financial news channel america and we're going to look at the cr for stimulus one two three four Point oh, in today's recording, the Build Back Better Act, and of course, the opportunity to give you SS300. That's going to be the focus of this channel. The number two most watched financial news channel in this America has been focusing on the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve is going to be touched upon in today's recording as well because it has a difficult problem 
the difficult problem is just a few weeks away from now, it's going to be gauging whether to raise and raise interest rates based upon economic data coming out tomorrow. You should see live on air when it happens and whether the events of Ukraine and Russia signal maybe we need to pivot. That is how I'm going to address Ukraine and Russia. I will bring Yasha and Ukraine into the context of the conversations on this financial news channel when it impacts your wallet, not to cover what military base is doing what at any particular moment. I'm going to go over today with the breaking news about what's going on with oil and your price at the pump. This is because of Ukraine, but it impacts your wallet. That's how the focus is as well. Plus, I want to go over something very fast, very quick at the front of this video. I'm going to be very stern and very blunt, and I don't hope to do it again. This channel will not, repeat, not tolerate anyone that brings into the channel the conversations that you see on Laura Ingram, Tucker Carlson, or anything like that. There has been some absolutely incredulous comments being made that glorify Vladimir Putin in the last 24 hours. Those comments will not be allowed on this channel. It will be immediate de deletion and blocking the viewer, any viewer that engages in that type of statements on this channel. Moreover, anyone who says something like, well, their focus of the United States is now on Russia, they're not going to help the American people, you will automatically be banned from this channel without even asking a blink of an eye. Because that is absolutely untrue, and that is how we don't work on this channel. This channel is a loving channel where we get together and work as a family. And in times of crises like this, where we're dealing with external elements, we need to work together as a team here at home. The concerns are the same. Inflation, gasoline, your wallet, and as a family, we work together. We will not allow divisiveness on this channel or off the channel. And with that, let's go over the incredible great news about the Build Back Better Act. We're going to start with the Build Back Better Act and then go into CR for Signals 1.0, 2.0, 3, and 4, that all breaking news today, and then SS300. And we have big news. I got a lot of brand new details. It's all really good. It got buried amongst, you know, everything else that was happening in the last 24 hours, and it concerns your wallet. So it's coming up in today's recording, but we're going to go right into the Build Back Better Act that still is alive and kicking and it still will get passed. I want to go over all those incredible checks in that Build Back Better Act that has lots of money in there. Economic recovery and social recovery. Social when we're talking about dental vision and things like that. There's a lot of checks in the Build Back Better Act. How many checks? Upwards of fifteen dollars to $60,000 of checks and they're growing by the moment. <laughs> Let's go over all those incredible checks from three clusters and three add-ons. Oh, it's great. And that first cluster we're going to look at right now, got it in there, staying in there on the House side, now in the Senate, has your pay one more year, the earned income tax credit. For my essential workers all across the board, that third stimulus, extended for one more year under four stimulus. Learn about it at irs.gov. $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children. And then they got the Pell Grant, $550 check in there, the $3,600 for the CTC for the children's checks. You're going to get those under the children in four stimulus recon. The adult automatic checks are for adults. They're different, so the children will not get two checks per child. They'll get one of the checks. 17 years or younger, they're going to get the CTC. Adults will get their check. MSC coming up in a second. Then they got in there the home repairs of living low income community. What's important to understand is that when we're looking at the Build Back Better Act, there is a lot of checks in there. But there are checks that are available for you to get right today. And viewers are cleaning up. Have you gotten $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 this week from this channel? If you haven't, stay at the very end because I'm going to show you how to clean up and get ten, twenty thousand dollars. My focus is getting you pots of money every single day on this channel, not waiting for a piece of legislation to pass. Getting money right now from legislation that has passed. Now let's continue with Four Simmons Recon. Twenty-five thousand dollars got in there, folks, for your purchase of your first home. It came from Maxine Waters. She got that incredible provision in there. It's a little bit less than twenty-five thousand dollars, and it's for the purchase of your first home, given to you, given actually to the seller in your name on behalf of the uh, federal government at the time of close of escrow. Wow, that's incredible, and they got it in there. That is the first of three add-ons of checks. Now let's turn to the second cluster of checks which is where we find true deliciousness. In that second cluster of checks, we have in there the incredible money to repair the home for weatherize your home. And that is the big weatherizing whenever uh, neighbors move in and they're wearing lobster shorts in the front yard. Ah, you got to weatherize your home, which involves... <laughs> which involves putting up hedges right away. You don't want to see those lobster shorts. They got paid leave every time that they take, home, take off from work because someone showed up wearing lobster shorts and you looked and you felt ill when looking at that. Yeah, it's awful. 
how much money do you get per week? Well, it depends on how many lobster shorts they wore, but you know, uh, it is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 more per year, $35,000 annual salary, then that's $800 a week, $15,000 annual salary is $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. W2, 1099, you all get these sums of money. It's great. Now, um, if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work, then they're going to get the check when they have to take off from work uh, to take you to the doctor's office, for example, once a week. And that is the second cluster <laughs> of three clusters of checks in this Four Simmons Recon. Now, let's go into the second add-on, and you know who that came from. Drop the number in the live chat if you remember the number. It starts with a two. Oh, someone wrote it. There you go. $250 billion for free home health care and seniors on disabilities. Wow. Can you imagine you're a senior or a person on disabilities and you never had home health care covered? Joe Biden promised to include it. He got in there via Bob Casey. Thank you, Bob. This is important. Uh, and it got in there. Now let's turn to that third cluster checks where we find true deliciousness. Free internet for all. There is some free internet right now. It's been around since second stimulus. Reach out to the volunteers. But this is more of it. Checks for farmers, checks for independent contractors, and then checks for seniors. Wow. These are two checks on the house. More coming on the set side. On the house side, they got in their dental excuse me, hearing checks, and low and the Medicaid gap fix, more about that second. On the sense side, they've had to add in their dental vision and low in the eligibility age of Medicare, which is part of the course when we're talking about the third add-on. I think you know what that third add-on is. It does not stand for monthly uh, sugar-free chocolate cake recipes. It stands for MSC. Yeah, someone wrote it. There you go. I saw it in the live chat. There you go. What is MSC? We're going to go over what it is. Who gets it? how you get it, how much it is, and what you need to know about it, starting right now. MSC is a pattern of checks that would be added to the four symbols recon, where the checks go out from IRS to you on a monthly basis. It stands for monthly IRS stimulus check. Who gets it? The legislators represent that everyone who got a third stimulus check will get a fourth, same eligibility as the third. Single individual, 75000 or less, you get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get it, double it. Family of four, you get it, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI. SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, you get it as well. Family four, you get it as well, quadruple it. If you are an adult dependent, you also get it. It's federally offered. It's not sent from your state. So you don't like your state's governor, don't worry about it. It goes nationwide. So don't think it's coming only in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> now, in Southern California, we get we get um, surfboards and bikinis. That's what we get here. Uh, <laughs> and it's not taxable. As one viewer said yesterday, my fiance said you got to pay it back. Uh, no, but I think you should return the engagement ring. He doesn't know what. Doesn't know. You're marrying someone who has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> We're starting on a bad note in this relationship, honey. <laughs> Turn the engagement ring quickly uh, and reach out to the, enga the encounter group on this channel. They'll hook you up with something that's a little bit more informed. <laughs> that is MSC. So how much is it? It's 2000 I can't believe I always go there with that comment, but I just love it. $2,000. So first of all, $1,000 they're after for up to six months. Yeah, I don't want someone getting engaged on this channel who doesn't know what they're don't doesn't know what they're getting into. Your your fiance must know what what this is about, <laughs> or you know, uh, you gotta help the encounter group meet make new introductions for you. <laughs> At least the person is not wearing lobster shorts. At least we're off to a good note on that one. Now, uh, who gets this and how they add this? They add this on the Senate side during the Senate subcommittee. That Senate subcommittee has the body of legislation right now, and they would modify it, have a Senate bill that sent to the Senate floor for a vote. Then they have a two-day vote on That event has not happened. So about four weeks ago on a Saturday, I brought back CR for stimulus on this channel, and viewers loved the idea. Now we have CR for Simmons 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. I have breaking news about CR for Simmons 1.0. Uh, really fascinating breaking news. And I have fascinating news about SS400 and SS300. It's coming up in a second. But what is CR for Simmons? What is it? The concept is very simple. In addition to Build Back Better, not a replacement, we would send out a check into a small bill that has bipartisan support and heron deadline that would be done before Build Back Better. And why have we? Why are we so excited about this? Because we've done this before, and it looks very similar to when we last did it. In 2020, I created the concept CR for stimulus because in 2020 we had gotten a first stimulus check, we had used it up, we needed more money, and so we heard about a second stimulus package in the negotiations in spring of 2020. 
Negotiators were Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats out of San Francisco, Speaker of the House, and Steve Mnuchin on behalf of the Republicans out of New York, then Treasury Secretary. Spring, negotiations, no deal on that second stimulus package. Summer, no deal. Fall, no deal. Winter, no deal. By December, I said, we can't keep on doing this. So I said, I need to find something else. And I found it. A continuing resolution. Why did I like this? Because I went something that's small, just a few hundred pages in length, not a package, just 3,000 pages in length. That did it. Has inherent deadline. It did, December 2020. Bipartisan support. It does. And that means you insert it and the CR is done, then the check goes out. We pushed and finally we made history. I made history. The CR did get passed. It did get a $600 stimulus check. I made history. The purple power, the viewership of this channel, we made history. And the $600 stimulus check went out. Well, four Saturdays ago, I went on air. I said, you want to bring it back? And viewers said, yes, I want to bring it back. And since then, we've birthed now four opportunities for CR for Simmons, one, two, three, and 4.0. 1.0 is the current resolution that has a current early March deadline. And that current early March deadline is looking really good. Why? Because it's bipartisan support, number one. Number two, the negotiations that have now birthed $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds to be included in that CR that is at the discretion of cabinet members of the White House on how to spend the money. Oh, this is good. I'm going to go over why it's good, but also in the second half of this video, I'm going to go over how some groups are coming with their hands out already saying, give me some of that money. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to stay in the second half because you ain't going to be happy with those groups saying, give me some of that money. It's not the airlines. <laughs> it's not the airlines. It's the next worst group. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go over that coming up in the second half of this video. Then we'll be looking at CR for Stimulus 2 and 3 that merge in the Senate. And of course, the 4.0, the Russian sanctions bill. Whatever happened to that? Now, we know that there have been sanctions of Russia. Then we'll be turning to SS 300 and 400. This is where the big financial news is coming all to play. And this is where there's actually going to be brand new, breaking great news. I'm really excited about this, folks. If there's something you have to buy on a regular basis, it's eggs, milk, and gasoline and bread, if you're, you know, like carbs. <laughs> well, one of those things may have great new hope today. And this is on the issue of the Federal Reserve about to announce the first interest rate spike in just a few days from now. With that new inflationary number coming out in less than 24 hours. Oh, boy. There's a lot going on. I'll have the latest details on that and how the whole situation in Ukraine is impacting your wallet and is far from over in impacting your wallet. We'll go over the big checks that Joe Biden wants to go out and why Joe Biden needs to solve that plus SS300. We have a lot to go over in the second half of this video, plus stay at the very end because I'm going to show you how viewers have now cleaned up with twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars or more checks this week. It's your opportunity as well as we go into a big second half. But first, here, my friends, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in the breaking news afternoons LA broadcast, continuing in sixty seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons L8.
as these big packages of economic relief are in the works to get done as Vladimir Putin invades Ukraine overnight. I have the latest details on the big CR 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and how they're being impacted positively, not negatively, by the invasion from Ukraine into Ukraine. Then we'll be looking at SS300, the opportunity to get big money out the door for my seniors and people on disabilities. It's huge. And then we'll be looking back into those checks in the Build Back Better Act. Those details are more coming up in this second half of this video, but I forgot to say something earlier. I'm going to say it right now. Go under this video and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, and boy, we are on a tear to become number two among broadcasts, cable, and internet television networks. Hit that subscribe button, build the channel. Thank you for all the incredible new subscribers this week. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Sign up for those LA alerts that goes out Monday through Friday via the alert system and the LA alert list system. The link is under the video's description. And with that, we go into the big second half. I'm excited to say that I will be on air with you more now in the coming days than in recent days. We're breaking news across everything with, of course, the big economic data coming in tomorrow, Friday. All right, let's go over what we are right now. CR for Simulus 1.0. This is the government funding, funding bill to fund the federal government to run the national government. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds included in there, which would be the discretion of cabinet members. We like this a lot. Why? Because it's $1.5 trillion. It's a lot of money, folks. This is bigger than prior stimulus packages. This is far more than enough for at least a stimulus check for all of you. $1.5 trillion is a lot. Number two, bipartisan support. This means Republicans and Democrats, House and Senate, they want it to go out. Also, really great news. Three, I love the social media campaigns of the viewership of this channel, Purple Power. You've been doing a really great job. Princess, uh, Princess, one of the viewers of this channel, on Twitter, she's been making some beautiful emojis saying, hey, spend the $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds on us. Now, in recent days, I said to re-advocate for this, but I'm going to go in a little bit tighter on it, a little bit tougher on it today. Not tougher, a stronger on it. Because I'm going to tell you in a second who's trying to go after your money. <clears throat> Not the airlines, not Vladimir. Uh, yeah, someone else. Uh, <laughs> so don't come for our money, folks. This is our money. So you want to advocate to Chuck, Casey, uh, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Advocate that that money is spent on us. And your statement of advocacy should basically say, hey, We've supported you for Build Back Better. It will get done. But we need economic recovery now, now, right now. Inflation is out of control. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the economy is stalling. We need that money right now. We need a check. You have the time. You have the funds allocated. You have the discretion. Spend the money on us. Do not succumb to special interests. Succumb to special interests. What is LLA talking about? This is brand new right now on Afternoon's Ally. Brand new. So there have now been in the last 24 hours requests from organizations, whether they are lobbyist groups or private organizations, saying it takes about money and spend it on us. <laughs> yeah, not happening. This is why I give you the news before it happens. You don't want them to start coming grabbing for your money. Good news so far is the people at issue saying you're not going to get the money. So Senate Appropriations Chair Patrick Leahy, yeah, you've heard his name on this channel every day. I told you it's Leahy Schumer, Leahy Schumer. You want to advocate to him. He's Democrat from Vermont. He says, I'm not eager to add anything. <laughs> it's taken several months of negotiations to get where we are. We're very reluctant to reopen this for anything. What's at issue is that he got a message um, from the White House to include more money on COVID spending, COVID uh, masks and COVID testing and COVID this and COVID that. He said, I'm not doing it. Good. Uh, and don't take it from the $1.5 trillion. Uh, we're talking to the administration right now about the specific needs from everything from testing, vaccines, to therapeutics. They need more money. They spent a lot of it on the Winter Olympics. I can't even say that with straight face. They spent money uh, that should be on us, on COVID testing to send people to the Olympics. Uh, no, f uh, no, no, White House, don't do it. Thank goodness so far, Leahy says, not happening. Um, Patty Murray says the request is asked for, and I want to give you the, a sense of these numbers. These are big numbers that are coming from the White House. $18 billion for more COVID testing. $5 billion for testing. $3 billion to cover for uninsured. And... Um, and this is uh, coming from the White House in just the last few days. Uh, 
Republicans are saying, we're not going to keep on borrowing this money. So Republicans are not interested in spending any more money. But that's not the reason I'm bringing it up to you. I don't want them to take the money, the $1.5 trillion that's already been allocated in there. Um, here comes Kathy McMorris, Rogers of Washington, top GOP manager, member, member of the Energy Committee, says we are not interested and keep on spending more money. They've previously approved, been approved this White House $6.5 trillion for COVID in these COVID relief bills for tests and, and testing. So far more than enough. Okay, that was not the group I was wanting to get to. You know which group I'm not a fan of if you've been with me since day one. The restaurants, yeah. <clears throat> so the restaurants are back. Just when we found out this, I, I think they watch this channel. They just have this channel on replay every day. And they heard there's 1.5 trillion. Did Ally say there's 1.5 trillion? Go get it. We need more sauerkraut. <laughs> that sh I should have chosen a different item. Uh, we need more hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we always need more bacon. But the, the a group uh, has now asked for billions of dollars to be given to the restaurant group out of the spending bill. Uh, excuse me? Get, get out of here. <laughs> get, I just want to say something a little bit more rude than that. But I always say, get, get the world out of here. You don't need any more money and you don't need to take it out of that. So that's where the that's where the CR for stimulus is right now. You gotta advocate, folks. And thank goodness Leahy seems very grounded on this boat, but you gotta advocate as Princess is doing on Twitter. Pick up the phone and call them. Say 1.5 trillion, send out a check for us. You want those Senate seats to be retained by your party? You want to gain new seats? You better send us a check. If you don't send us a check, you don't know what you're installing yourself for for the midterm elections. More about that. In a second. Let's then go to CR for Simulus 2 and 3.0. What's the update on that? So those two have been merged in the Senate. The House Democrats, led by Pete Aguilar out of California, said, you know what, we need other pieces, of, pieces, plural, of economic legislation besides Build Back Better, and they need to be done right away because millions of Americans are hurting. Uh, and they're hurting as inflation numbers are really bad. Sent it to the Senate, and the senators said, led by Republicans, Todd Young, said, yeah, we're merging with ours. Why is there a new element of bipartisan support? Because Republicans and Democrats both agree that inflation is out of control. Inflation it needs to be fixed now, not later. And then inflation involves price of goods and oil and gas at the pump. And whichever political party solves it now, not at the midterm elections or promises, you know, if you elect them now, will make the Cognitive change, potentially, in the polls, uh, in, in the election results, in the midterm elections. So that is what's going on with that one. Now, finally, see our consumers 4.0. This is the one that makes no sense. This was supposed to be a Senate bill that is in addition to the House, uh, in addition to the White House sanctioning Russia. That has still not been done. Folks, I have no idea what's going on with that one. All I can tell you is Republicans and Democrats are both flabbergasted and hasn't been called for a vote. This wouldn't be in addition to other sanctions that have been levied by the White House, more announced every two minutes as another one announced daily. I'm not going to go over too much about that on this channel. Now, let's go into the big opportunity of what is going on with SS300. And before I get to SS300, SS200, SS400, first let me tell you what it is. But I want to go then quickly into the breaking news that impacts it before I go into the new details. Because this breaking news is big. It's great news. I'm very excited to deliver for you. It was not covered broadly because it was buried in the news. Let me tell you what we're talking about. We're talking about SS200, 300, and 400. During the 2020 run for presidency, the Democrats had a lot of proposals, and Liz Warren here, her campaign was to give you an additional $200 a month on top of your existing benefits if you are on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, so, uh, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. She withdrew her run for president, then Joe Biden says, I like her policies, I'm going to adopt it. He put it in his campaign promises, and then he actually put it in his transition papers, still pu pu published at JoeBiden.com. An additional $200 a month on top of your existing benefits, again, for the same beneficiaries I just detailed. He came in and he didn't do it. So De Senate Democrats said, you know what, we're going to do fist stimulus. We're going to do fist stimulus, and this would do it by act of Congress. And we would see this going to work up in... Uh, in late December of 2021. I covered it all last year, and I covered the interest rates and the inflation rates and the economic numbers, and yet it didn't happen. So three weeks ago, I brought it back on air. I said, I'm going to show you how Joe Biden can do SS200 right today. 
this week, I showed you how Joe Biden could do SS300 by making it effective today and giving you that $300 by the end of the year and $400 by a year from now. But let me go over what SS200, 300, 400 are really based upon. Inflation. Inflation. That I word we're hearing a lot. Well, the next few days, you're going to see a lot of major elements at play. And I have breaking news about all these inflationary elements starting hitting right now. Inflation is determined by supply chain, price of goods, and oil and gas. And inflation can be impacted by the White House's policies, by Congress's policies, and the Federal Reserve's policies. Now, they don't always see a side, see agreement on how to do things, but there's brand new breaking news, which is really great, which I have for you right now. The White House minutes ago said that because of the events in Ukraine, which if you do not know, Ukraine is a major supplier of oil and gas worldwide. Of course, Russia is as well. If you start sanctioning Russia, which we have, then oil and gas at the pump for you would go up. That's pretty obvious. I think you should know that by now if you've been watching this channel. So the White House came out very bluntly today with a great comment first that said that even though it anticipates that price of, gold, of gas supplied by U.S. manufacturers may go up, because you because Russia is now slowly going out of the equation. I mean, Russia's barrels will no longer be imported to U.S. soils, and they'll have to rely more upon oil from other sources like U.S.-based oil. The president said minutes ago, we, the White House, will not tolerate price gouging. So this is good. So if you have your manufacturer, your, your pumper of oil in the United States saying, hey, the Russian oil is no longer part of the supply chain, I'm going to raise our prices at the pump. White House not going to allow it. It's going to come right in with criminal penalties if they do it. So that's good. That is the first great news. The second one, and here's, the, let me read you the quote. My administration is using every tool at our disposal to protect American businesses and consumers from rising prices at the pump. Defending freedom will not, will have costs for us as, use, as, as well at home, but we need to be honest about that. And we will not allow um, U.S. manufacturers of oil and gas to stick it to us, basically. All right, so that was the first one. Second one. This is the one that I'm very excited about. This one is really huge. So the U.S. owns reserve barrels of gasoline. It just owns them. They're sitting around in storage. When they use a little bit, then they buy some more back. So they don't lose, they don't lose their supply, their stockage of this oil. What do they do? When they see that the problem of the price of gas at the pump going up too high, they release some of their barrels, which are in storage, to bring the price down. So let's say the price of pump at the pump went from $4 to $5. Let's release a little bit of oil, gas into the, into the supply chain. That'll bring it from $5 down to 4 This is great news. Now, I can be very critical, so I, this should have been done a long time ago. He did it one time, the president, and he hasn't done it since then. People are saying, well, what's taking so long? So he is doing it today. This is good news. The White House is now considering releasing more oil from what's called the Federal Emergency Reserves. This was announced late uh, Wednesday and could happen with by the end of this week. This is, and, and what are numbers is the White House looking at? So I want to go over these numbers with you, which is very big, so we're getting a sense of how where, where, where the White House is trying to bring it out. The White House is trying to bring the gasoline prices down to about $93 a barrel rent. That's not how much you're spending. That's how much the barrel is. Uh, what do Wall Street analysts say? We're currently at about $100 a barrel right now. You don't like it. I don't like it. It's too expensive. If you're on live chat right now, write how much you're spending for gasoline at the pump. Tell me where you're watching from. Here in Los Angeles, $5 a gallon. Cheapest gas, $5 a gallon. So that is about $100 a barrel right now. The analysts say that the economy, the U.S. economy, could sustain $100 a, a barrel for six months right now if inflation does not get worse. If inflation gets worse, we can't. But with the situation of Ukraine, we could be heading to $125 a barrel, and that is unsustainable. The American economy could not sustain it. That would lead to unemployment. It would lead to growth of the economy stalling, meaning we're going to contract this economy. And that will actually cause inflation to get worse. 
So this is why the federal, this is why the White House needs to address these issues right away. Finally, um, I'm going to go into the Federal Reserve in just a second, but let's go back to this SS300 and SS400 and SS200. This is a simple situation, folks. This is where Joe Biden needs to do simple things quickly, fast. Release that, go that oil reserves into the economy. Next, pick up the phone and call the Social Security Administration. Administrator. Pick up the phone and say, hey, it's Joe on the line. And I want to replace COLA with inflation. And immediately, millions of Americans who are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, who see their price of goods, their cost of living going up $200, $300 a month, before we even get to the issue of oil and gas, which may add an extra $300 a month for you uh, because of how much you have to pay at the pump, he would be able to get you an additional $200 a month right out the door for SS200 and SS300. Uh, for, for, for my beneficiaries. How does this work? Because the benchmark would swap from COLA to inflation. Inflation is currently about 8%. We're waiting for the economic data in 24 hours from now. But that would mean you would jump from 5.9%, rise up from where you were in December of last year, to 8% right today. That would be additional $200 a month. Then your benefits would get reassessed later this year, in December for next year, January. That would give you a predicted 4% rise up because inflation is expected to be 4% in December. That means you go up 8% now, another 4% in December. That's about 12% overall. That's about $200 more per month right now and then another $100 more in December. Each year, your benefits go up and it's if inflation goes up. And inflation is going to be 1% to 2% the year after that. So that's an additional $60, $70. That's SS400. This is very simple. He needs to do this. He needs to pick up the phone and say, you know, replace COLA with inflation. Inflation's out of control. You know what? Um, I don't want to bring the wrong attitudes of this comment, but I want to make it very clear. Inflation, when it's high, helps people on benefits because your benefits are based upon when uh, a benchmark and inflation's high. So give them the, the big high benchmark right now. When the benchmark is high, why aren't you not giving them the benchmark? It's like, and it's a double whammy because you're supposed to have, when you're getting a benefits check, the benefits check is to be able to, to pay for your food and to pay for your, 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 your livelihood. And if inflation is determining how your livelihood is, then you need that check. So where is inflation going? Boy, you got to stay in tune in the next 24 hours because on Friday, one of the most important numbers of the Federal Reserve's indicator for the month of February, month of March will be released. Boy, in less than 24 hours from now. The producer price index number, a version of it, will be released that determines where inflation is for the month of January 2021. Remember the release a month later. The inflation numbers from December came right on point of where I predicted them to be, about 7.5%, not temporary. And it's likely that the inflation number will be the same, if not higher. The Federal Reserve is set to announce its first interest rate spike in early, the first meeting in early March, which is just a few days away. This first interest rate spike, I got to tell you, folks, I just, I have a lot of commentary about it, but this is weird because we have about five meetings this year and we expect to hear five interest rate spikes. Quarter basis points, that would be what Wall Street expected. Could we see seven interest rate spikes in five meetings? Or could we see the first interest rate spike coming in that first meeting of a half basis point, a much higher, when we have all this big problem with Ukraine and we have the big problem with oil and gas? It's very, very confusing. A lot of details. It's a very, very fluid economic situation. I'm going to bring it back together for you later in this video. Now let's turn to the great details of all those incredible checks in the Build Back Better Act. That is still happening. I don't want you to think that just because you turn on your broadcast channel and they're talking about what's happening in Ukraine and Russia, that no one's talking about Build Back Better. No. Let me just make something sort of clear to you. There's financial news channels. The one, the two, and you're watching the third right here. I'm staying on financial news. War coverage is big ratings, folks. It's big ratings. With a guy on the patio, with the explosions in the backgrounds, it's big ratings with the breaking news graphics. They want you to think that none of this financial news is happening anywhere else. You watch the financial news channels, and the financial viewers who watch the financial news channels, we know what's going on. 
we're focusing on stocks and bonds and crypto and 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 uh, and your wallet, inflation and the Federal Reserve. That's what we're focusing on. We're not negating our subject matters because there's a world event stuff happening somewhere else. So that's what I want you to understand. Build Back Better is still happening. You're not going to hear it covered on your broadcast channel because they can make more money on ratings talking about an explosion on the back patio behind the guy. It's just like a tornado coverage. You put the guy in the middle of a tornado when it's hitting, you're going to get bigger ratings than covering um, you know, how much rent assistance can you, can you get because of COVID. That's what they're doing. So let's go over all these incredible checks of this Build Back Better Act. It's a lot of checks. They got $40 billion of free job training in there so people can get higher paying jobs across the board. They got in there, the salt cap. Raising the amount you can deduct on state and local taxes from $10,000 to $72,500. Wow. They got in there shipping cheaper prescription medication, growing it from 20 to 30 in year 2028. They got in there the Medicaid gap fix that will lower in the eligible, that will um, provide subsidized private insurance to low income uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states. And they got the Medicaid gap fix, which I promise to go over that. Um, that is the Medicaid gap fix, but also lowering the eligibility of Med Medicare. They want to drop it from 50, 65 to 55. Of course, they want to add in their dental, vision, and hearing. Meantime, the incredible great news is that third stimulus is repeated in fourth stimulus, but you don't want to wait around for fourth stimulus to become a law because what this channel does is focuses on getting you money every single day of the week. If I have not gotten you money this month, then something is wrong. And here is the success stories. Nisi, one of the longtime viewers of this channel, she got over $30,000, maybe even, I think it was like 33,000 in her first round from third stimulus last year. She got in her latest round, initial $10,000 for rent and utilities. I'll feature her more tonight on Eating's LA. Karen got about $40,000 more in the recent days. Bob Bacon, you see in law, the live chats, um, with, or without, with or without his lobster shorts. <laughs> he, got, uh, he got more money just a few days ago, and he got from his church. So people are doing things really well. What I want you to focus on is getting these big sums of money. Let me show you how you get it briefly, and we'll feature it more tonight on Eatings LA. You're going to reach out to those six places, City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall and State House Authority. And the keywords you can say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage and utility assistance because of COVID. You must reach out to all six places. Don't just reach out to one and call it a day. You want to get application on file everywhere. You want to do multiple rounds. And the latest round, you want to go out all the way to May. So viewers on this channel have gotten rent and utilities before from third stimulus. But guess what? They're getting it again now because I've been telling you to get these big sums of money. I have one viewer who I like a lot. He was in the live chat just the other day. He said, I reached out to one of the six and they said, no, that's not how you rock and roll on this channel. You got to reach out to all six and you will get that money. We're all about cashing checks here, folks. We're not about going to the mailbox and looking for checks. This is a financial news channel that gives you information about how to get more money in your wallet by the minute, by the hour. This is all happening right now. When we look at Nisi, she really inspired countless viewers of the channel. She had gotten three items, 23,000. Market was at two items. I said, where is your third? He got his third, brought him to 50,000. Now he's over 100,000. Lorraine, she was at 105. Now she's at 120. We'll feature more of these incredible success stories tonight on Evening's LA. But let me go over to recap where we are tonight if you watched, you've jumped in this chat late uh, in this recording. Overnight, Vladimir Putin and Russian forces did invade Ukraine. You're looking at Kiev, Ukraine footage right now. This is not live footage. It's stock footage of the beautiful country. And it's a beautiful, beautiful landscape. And, uh, and it's gorgeous cathedral. You may have seen this cathedral in some of the backdrop of the broadcast channels showing the explosions overnight. What I delivered at the top of this recording is where I'm staying indefinitely until something changes, which is the following. This channel is a financial news channel, and I will stay on the financial news that I've always covered. Ukraine and Russia will come into play on this channel when it impacts your wallet. I was the first to really give you in-depth coverage of why Russia and Ukraine in 2022 would be the major financial news channel, financial news story. I started reporting that in September, October last year. It is now. Stocks, bonds, crypto, all crashing dramatically overnight. Oil and Brent crude having a big impact as well. 
And of course, a lot of movements on how to deal with this economically on the forefront where we are right now. Tomorrow, we're going to see economic data from the month of January before the Vladimir Putin Ukraine equation started. We're going to start to see those barrels of gasoline released from the Federal Reserves to lower the price of gasoline at the pump. We're going to start to see how Republicans and Democrats are going to try to figure out how to deal with inflation. As Rick Scott, for example, as detailed on yesterday's show, debuted something that simply was a mess and didn't even get Republican support across the board. Inflation is here. Inflation is not going away. Your money will get delivered to you. And as a family, we have to stay as a team. We have to stay as a loving team where we deliver the support for our troops, their families, the citizens and families of Ukraine, and of course, the neighboring countries of Hungary and Belarus and Georgia and other neighboring countries, whether NATO or not, that are all very, very tense at the moment. We have to send a united front of support because we embody the positivity of a democracy where people do very well. And with that, I look forward to seeing you tonight on Evenings LA. It'll be a brand new show at 5 o'clock. And with that, I want you to follow this incredible family and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, 2 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, stay smiling, except when someone walks in wearing those lobster shorts. It was going so well until then. <laughs> those incredible details and more coming up tonight. Stay here, stay informed, and stay with LA for more.